Hey guys, in this video, gonna be walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to port forward using Xfinity Internet. So to do this, we're gonna head on over to Xfinity.com. I'll link their webpage right at the top of the video description. And then once you're over at Xfinity.com, you're gonna click on this little Wi-Fi signal symbol that's here towards the top of the page. So we're gonna select that. Now, if you have not already logged in, it's gonna prompt you to do so with the email, mobile number, or username that you have hooked up with your Xfinity account, as well as your Xfinity password. Once you have that information entered in, click sign in. And then if you're not already on your Xfinity router page, again, you can get here by clicking on this little Wi-Fi signal symbol that's here towards the top of the screen and find the gateway that you want to port forward to and then click on that. For me, it's going to be my XFi gateway, so I'm going to select that. And then click where it says C Network, and that should be right below the name of your Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to click C Network. And then under the more area where it says advanced settings, that's where we want to click next. And then we want to click the port forwarding option. Now for me, I'm going to be doing this and setting up port forwarding for my desktop computer for the League of Legends video game. Now you can do this with consoles and a bunch of other different things and as well as VOIP and peer-to-peer -peer applications to connect directly to a device on your home network. So we're going to click on port forwarding and we are gonna go ahead and add a port forward. Now it is important to note that port forwarding will be blocked if you have the advanced security enabled. There's a couple of different things that you can do. You can selectively allow access for specific IP addresses on the advanced security dashboard, or you can disable advanced security for all devices in the My Services area. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just simply going to be disabling the advanced security settings for my devices. And you do that by clicking the Go to My Services. And then it says by disabling, you'll lose 24 seven threat monitoring and real time reporting on your home network. So if you want to do this, you can just flick this little symbol here and the advanced security will be disabled. It may take up to 10 minutes to finish up this process. So you can go ahead and click OK there. Now to get back to that port forwarding page where I just came from again, clicking on that little Wi-Fi symbol here towards the top, clicking on my XFi gateway, clicking on C network, advanced settings, port forwarding, add port forward. And now we're back here to the area where we can officially add a port forward. So you're gonna select the device for this port forward in this area. And if you have a console that you wanna do this for, it should pop up in this area as long as that console is currently connected to your Wi-Fi router. And for me, I'm gonna be clicking my desktop computer. And you're gonna have the option to do a manual setup for your port forward, or you can just select from a list of commonly recommended configurations. So for me, it's gonna be the League of Legends configuration is what I'm looking for for my PC. So I'm gonna click League of Legends and it's gonna set up the recommended configuration below that. And then at this point, what you wanna do is click next. And then it's adding the port forward. And then please give it a moment to complete this process. And I now officially have this port forward added so that my device can now use these port forward settings. And then that's gonna take you back over to the port forwarding page where you should have a list of all of the port forwards that you've made. I just have my desktop here with the reserved IP address and all of the port numbers listed below that. And if you want, you can hide the port forwards if you want. And you always have the option if you want to add an additional port forward by clicking this button right here. So that's the process that you go through for adding port forwarding in Xfinity. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.